from the Cast Couple. Hey guys, it's Chase from the Cast Couple. Hi guys, it's Chase and Aaron from the Cast Couple. Hello friends, it's Chase and Aaron from the Cast Couple. And where are we? The Australia Zoo. We are at the Australia Zoo in Birwa, Steve Irwin Zoo. So, we're gonna take you guys around. We're staying at the Croc Hunter Lodge, which you guys will see later. We're checking in this afternoon. And uh, yeah, we're gonna show you guys around the zoo. We're gonna be here for three days. Yeah. So, we'll show you guys. Three days. Yep. So, we'll show you guys around the Croc Hunter Lodge and the zoo. I already see a bush turkey. And it's a, wild uh, bush turkey. a wild bush turkey, yeah. And uh, we'll show you guys around the zoo. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, Chase, where are we? I think I see a foot. Nope, never mind, not a foot. What are we looking for in here? The echidnas. The short beaked echidnas. Yeah, we can't find them. They might be in the back area. Yeah. If there's a little hole right there. We're gonna come back later and see if they're out. So here we have one of the statues. Do you wanna go stand by it? Yeah. For the video? Yeah, I will. Looking <laughs> at the American alligators. So this is Fang, back there. It's like a piece of home. Yeah. It is like a piece of home. It's blind. So that was Daisy. She's who, behind the bush now. Yeah, hid behind the bush from us. How do you like the American alligators? Amazing. So what is this? Huh? What is it? What is it? It's a tortoise. It's a bush turkey. AKA bird. All right, Chase. That is the cave that Harriet, the Galapagos tortoise, that they believe was one of Darwin's three tortoises. I read it in a book. If you haven't read the My Steve book, 10 out of 10 recommend. That's the cave that Harriet had in her enclosure. I see you. So here we have two tortoises. They're munching. This is the original envir crocodile environmental park that Steve opened. Now there has it says that there has been updates, but this was yeah. the original park that he opened. This is like a little like outcropping here. Actually, I think it cuts all the way through. Yeah. This is my obligatory plug for how to stay croc safe. <laughs> I definitely haven't done that, which is a bad thing. The rest of it I've done, which is good. Oh, there's a bunch. Oh, we gotta go around this corner. Oh, Chase got excited to see some more crocodiles. These are freshies. Freshies? You fed freshies. Oh, yeah, let's put them on. I'll put a picture of Chase's in now, so you can like really see him. So now we're looking at the enclosure for Whippa and Lucy. Here's one of them sitting in this little pool here. I'm pretty sure this one is the one that doesn't have any teeth. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. Insert picture here of this crocodile with no teeth. Wow, it's not sunbathing, catching them rays. Mm -hmm. Who is this? <laughs> oh, it's Moss Man. He doesn't have any moss on him today. Oh, Alright, Chase, what are we looking at? Tasmanian devils. He's kind of a lion it's under the tree. I have to slide for you. Here's another American alligator. Sunbathing. It's cool. 
Chase is waddling to a statue of Terry. It's Terry with an American alligator. That's a statue, and then here's the picture. That's that so cool. Took. So here we have two dingoes. Everybody's laying in the sun today. Mm -hmm. Probably because it was cold this morning. Yeah, it was good. It's an island of a bunch of sleepy little koalas, and it's adorable. Yep, I'd live here. Here we have Bosco, the crocodile. Say he's one of the more famous. Yeah. We're by the crocodile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a store. Chase wants you to see the bin chicken. It's called an ibis, but here they call them bin chickens, and I love it. Okay, so we are in Robert Irwin's studio, his photography studio. This is amazing. So we're at my new favorite place. The koala nursery. Koala Island comes in second because this is a nursery, which means there are baby ones. So this one comes in first. And they're still cuddly. Okay, so now we're at Akko and Cassie's enclosure. And Akko is in the water, and Cassie is up by the tree over there. So cool. Oh my goodness. Here's a swimmy crocodile. He's doing the the log float. We don't know who this is. The sign's on the other side. He's doing an impressive log impersonation. It's definitely a male though. Yeah. Do you want to go over the other side? See He's a floaty is. little log. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't like floaty little log. Floaty big log? I'm standing right here. I want to. Everybody's doing the floaty little log. He's so still. Alright, Chase, what do we got here? It's an island of Also known as. I don't know what kind of thing. Big? So it would be in the murder spot. Just because it's big? Just because it's big. Alright, so here we have like a ton of different pictures. Of Steve. Yeah. This is Echo. I have a Funko in that. We just saw Echo too. This is so cool. Look at the elephants and the orangutans. Mm -hmm. There's two. Uh, oh my gosh. This, this is, is so cool. Warm. Dancing with stars. We have Optus. <laughs> wow. Read the book. Freshwater crocodiles, and then they have like some artifacts and stuff over here. Boomerangs. <laughs> Chase, what'd you say? Steve's boot? He wears Timberland. <laughs> Steve had good taste. He has the teeth marks for moving scrapper, one of the crocodiles.
guys. So now this is Steve Irwin merchandise. Yeah, there's all different Steve merchandise. They had kid shoes from Timberland. There was a board game. Why do they not sell this stuff anymore? Lunch boxes. I'm gonna buy some of those. Really? I have some of those. Actually, I'm the majority of these. This is so cool. That's so cool. There's all the awards for all that. So she Shepherd gave Steve a medal for courage. They also have a ship named after Steve too, but that makes sense now. Like, so here's a whole bunch of awards. For the zoo. And then they have the world's tallest living giraffe. His name is Forrest. <sighs> you beat me to it. And the oldest living rhino is on a I didn't it's know that. rhino. It's 40 years old in 278 days as of the 27th of November 2020. Can you see an old book? Wow. So we're on the second floor of the Cragasium. And there's Billy. They keep Casper and Wendy back there. Casper and Wendy. Bluey and Bowen. Graham and Bindi. Bindi's the one back there. This is Graham. This is wow. one that grabbed Wes. They're all sitting by the gate. Do you notice that? He's ready. One, two. There's two in there that are both by the gate. Three. We're about an hour till. The yeah, show. literally an hour. So over here we have Charlie and Amy. So one is sitting by the door and one sitting back there by the trees. Next to Charlie and Amy we have Marie and Molly. And Murray is definitely sitting right by the door. And Molly. Mm -hmm. Molly is sitting back under the tree. Alright, and who do we got next to them? Monty and Goldie. I see them both. Neither, neither of them are really sitting by the no. door. But they're ready still. There's scrap on the end. Scrap is on the end. So yeah, they're ready. They're getting ready for their show in an hour. And we're probably gonna get some drinks and maybe a snack and find our seats for the show. So we'll probably just see you guys at the craft show. Hi friends. Howdy. So it's been kind of a chaotic day getting our bearings and just being like- It's a big zoo. Overwhelmed. Yeah. But we're sitting at the croc show right now. It still has like an hour until it starts. Found good seats for today. We're gonna be here three times. So this is our seats for today. We'll have different seats every day. Yee. Just because that's how you do. And we're watching old Crocodile Hunter episodes, which is doing my little heart happy. But yeah, people are already sitting, so definitely get here early because it's not like there's a bunch of people. Like there's still no, a whole entire No, but people are starting stable. to walk in. But there, yeah, there's a bunch of people coming in and things like that. So, what have you liked so far? What was your favorite thing? Oh goodness, um, everything. No. Um, <laughs> I get to pick one. If thing. I had to do, we have not been to most of the zoo yet. Like Africa, no. Asia, none of that. We've really just done like. Some of Australia. Fed the kangaroos. We have kangaroo food. Yes. To feed the kangaroos. You could bring it back tomorrow too though. But yeah. But so far I've liked the qual nursery. Okay. If you had to give me a top three right now, what are your top three? Because then we could do a top qual three at the end of the day too. Qual nursery. Okay. 
Bindi the crocodile. Okay. And seeing a Tasmanian devil is cool. Yes, yeah, first time we've seen one of those. Yeah. Um, I don't know. For me, huh. I'm gonna say Scrappa because yeah, just yes. Okay. Um, Akko because also yes. And oh no, I take that back. I take that back. I would say Akko okay. as like three. Graham is number two. And then the top three thing so far, I don't know. It's been like the touches of like Steve, I guess that means. Like, there's still a lot that like has his name on it. Like a lot of the crocodiles are ones that like he rescued and things like that. So like, it's nice that that's not, I don't want to say forgotten, like that it would be, but like that it's very prominent and stuff like that. It's really cool. It's been amazing so far. We still have so much to do, so. Yeah. Tomorrow we might even do some encounters maybe. We'll see Definitely you guys some photo opportunities at the craft show today. Yes. Woo! Gangers, welcome to Australia Zoo and welcome into our world's famous Crocosseum. Containers for change, you can be sure that your empties are being disposed of correctly and not landing up in your litter or your landfill. Okay. Containers in these bins. Oh, look at them go. Well done. Now you can use these containers for change bins as well, just like our birds. So make sure you keep your eyes out, there's multiple collection points around the zoo and you can start your positive change today. That's right. My job, my mission, the reason I've been put onto this planet is to save Warhammer. Yeah, let's get it. Dinosaur 
called Rule the Earth, and you're about to meet one of these fossils, a living link to the creatures from the past. There are 27 species of crocodilian found all around the world, from alligators to gorillas, from caimans to the true crocs. And here to tell you all about it is Nero. Please make him feel welcome. It's the Australian Zoo Croc Team. Look, hang on to the day so hard, it's going to be a whole lot better. So Monty's slowly making his way out of now right now. With Monty's help, what we're going to show you is exactly what, what not to do around crocodiles. We are going to make some pretty massive mistakes. So if you do the complete opposite of us, you'll be fine. If you're not in North Australia, you might even be lucky enough to see a crocodile in the wild, but you can come back in one piece. And obviously that's what, what's most important, your safety but also the crocodile safety, because once you go out and you be silly and you grab by a crocodile, these guys get branded as an evil, ugly monster, and they're very, very easy to avoid. So, right now we've got Jimmy, who's going to help me feed him. He's making a mistake. He's way too close to the water's edge. He's splashing the water, he's banging his feet. He got a little more keen. He's honing in on those flashes, those vibrations. He knows exactly where I am without having a look. To be honest, this gets him pretty grumpy. Now he's all angry. Good luck, Jim. <laughs> Thanks, man. Meant to be one of my best friends. Come on, Monty. Oh, he's coming out slow today. It's almost worse. Stop looking at my head. Look at the fish, bud. Look at the fish. Oh. Have it. Much work. Give it up for Monty. here at the zoo, this is something they'll use for the time. When they hatch out of an egg, they're only 15 centimetres long, they weigh 30 grams, and at that size, they need to hide away. Because for a lot of the critters you saw out here earlier would snap on a baby croc. But barramundi, other crocs, fish, you name it, they're gonna target baby softies. So they're hiding the reeds, and what they do is exactly what he's demonstrating now. They angle their head up, and they wait for pos oh, sorry, they wait for frogs, insects, and spiders, anything small enough in the reeds where they can come up and do that, nice work, Monty. So they'll use that tail to propel themselves vertically straight up, but obviously Monty can target larger prey items, and the bigger they get, the bigger they get, they'll start to go for magpie geese, possum, snakes, they absolutely love flying foxes as well. So we'll see if we can't get one more. There you go, mate, nice work. Now Monty, I'll tell you what, he's probably had a bit too much feral pigo. Maybe even lay down. Not too long. <laughs> but he's making no attempt to come forward. He's smart enough to know that I can easily walk backwards faster than I could he can come forwards. And that's nothing special about me. That's just he's more designed like a torpedo, not like a greyhound. So once he decides to finally pick up that heavy weight and make that big trek back to the water, which we'll do in a second, you will see once he goes back in, he's weightless. He's amazing. He's very dangerous. Up there, he's not that dangerous. So to avoid a crocodile, it's pretty simple. What you got to do is avoid him down here, but not up there. So, three simple things. First one is stay about four to five feet back from the water's edge. So if you're all the way back here, and he's in the water, he's not gonna come out and try and chase you down, because he knows he can't. The second thing is what Jimmy showed us, don't overhang the water. People have been taken by crocodile, um, by tail best from crocodiles up in Northern Australia. So don't overhang the water. And the third rule, don't do this, as I showed you before. Don't go in the water, don't go splashing around. Crocodiles are obviously at home in the water. They can hold their breath for about eight hours. They watch and they wait animals out. And they're going for the sick and the weak and the unwise animals. So you're in there, you're splashing around, having a good time. He thinks, sweet, a dying kangaroo. I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna take it out that easy feed, I'm gonna clean up my environment at the same time, not knowing the person, just thinking of the animal having a bad time in the water. So We're good, I'm set up again. How was crocodile? It was so cool. Today we had Monty, mm -hmm. who I think is the biggest one. Is he not? I don't know. Potentially. And, um, so now, what are we gonna get here? We wanna go here. Feed to kangaroos. Which sounds good. Alright, so Erin's feeding this kangaroo and now she's getting a pat. He pooped. So exciting. Only one day you made more room. 
So, we just had a grand old time feeding the kangaroos. And giving them a pat. Yeah. They were, they were fluffy. And they were hungry. Hungry and fluffy. The road. It's a good combination. Hey Aaron, why'd the bush turkey cross the road? Why? Because! <laughs> Here's one right here, look. Wow. So now we are in, where are we? The wetlands. The wetlands. And we have a Spinosaurus. Yes, we do. There's a Pteromodactyl. A Pteromodactyl? Yeah. Wow. Hey, Aaron. What? Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Why? Because the pee is silent. Hmm. <laughs> oh. so this is a Minmi. It's a... I didn't realize, and, and this is going to sound really stupid, I didn't realize that di like there were specific dinosaurs that were like Australian dinosaurs. I am learning so much. They're saying hill cranes too. So. Yeah. So this is a Jabberoo. And you guys already saw him flying to the crash. How proud are you for flying in? For what? How proud are you for him flying in? So proud. He did. So here we have a cockatoo. Sulfur crested cockatoo. Sulfur crested cockatoo. There's a trail cam. Oh. Hi, Wow. So back here we have some emus. A pair of emuing. Is that a chicken? Chicken? What are you talking about? A chicken? There's a chicken. Hey, and a chicken. Aaron, why did the chicken cross the road? Chase, why did the chicken cross the road? Because. <laughs> yeah, I think that emo liked your joke. He looked he up did. from his drink. He did. He really did. <laughs> I, I know he loved my joke. I'm sure he very much appreciated it. I'm sure he's never heard it before. So over here we have a cassowary. Hey Chase, hmm? color eggs do they like? They lay green eggs, like Dr. Seuss. Like green eggs and ham? Like green eggs and ham. But they're really big. And you can, and you can, a full human can stand on them, just like ostriches. So I believe on the other side, there should be another cassowary. Yeah, there is, but I don't know where he's at. I thought we heard him not that long ago, but maybe it was he the run, other one. No, he's running over here. Oh, he's running. I well, just... We'll catch like, up. To, we'll catch like up to him and show you. Like the scene from Up, where Kevin runs through the bush behind. See? Tell me that. Tell me the animators from Pixar's Up didn't come to Australia. Look at a cassowary and go, hmm. We could probably make. Oh, it he really is running. Colorful. Why is he running? Give it a horn and make it like chocolate, and it's a snipe. I don't know where he went. Oh, he ran into the corner. I'm gonna get up close and personal with him. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? They run so weird. He's coming after something over here. Yeah. Whoa. You hear his foot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to get him running on the way back. Here he comes. That was a cool picture. Like to move it, move it. He like to move it. No, you have to sing the Wiggles Emu song. Have you not heard that? So now we are in the koala walkthrough. Walk There's a lot of pretty trees in here. There are a lot of pretty trees and it smells good. Yeah. Smell that? It's on the backside of Rue Haven. Hmm. 
They didn't even notice us when we were in there. <gasps> this is where you pet them. Okay, so what did we just do? I, I petted a koala. Who did you pet? I petted Willow. Mm -hmm. But Mac didn't know this and, and what's so important about that? She was on the TV show. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Is that your highlight of the day? Oh my! This is distraction station. We're gonna go over to Southeast Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia, whatever that Southeast section is Asia. next. Southeast Asia next. So we're in Asia now, and we have one of my favorite trunked friends. Don't worry, Chase, he's got his trunk on. Yeah, you can take pictures because his trunks are on. Hi! He's gonna like jump down on my head. I could catch it. If it fell out of the tree, I could catch it. We're at the Red Panda enclosure. And he is really up in that tree. Oh, oh my gosh. That's crazy. Here we go, we're down from the tree. He is posing. Mm. Of right in front of him. We're off to see the tigers, and I am super excited. Still haven't gone to Africa. Or the wombats or anything else. And three twenty one. There's a tiger. We see if we get a better view. I don't know why that song's sticking in my head. We're going to Bindu's Island. We are going to Bindu's Island. So, we're going to go see some lemurs, some ring-tailed lemurs. Ring-tailed lemurs. Which I'm excited about. We're going to go see the tree house. Yeah. Please this is going to be grand. Please do not touch the lemurs. Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe take some pictures. Hi, guys. Look at our dreamers. Hi, babes. Yeah. Hi, guys. Oh, boy. Hi. Bye. Six, seven. You're on the trash can, sir. Keep going on your mission. Oh. Do you, I remember how it, what? How is it? Come on. Oh my goodness. Hey, friends. They're just like everywhere. Yeah. We just made friends with a whole bunch of lemurs. Whole troop of them. Now we're going in Bindi's treehouse. 
you to do. This is cool. But your tree house. So we are on the second level of Fendi's tree house. Downstairs we saw some freshwater turtles. Up here. There's some bubble snacks. A boba snack. No, a boob a bubble. I like a booba snoot. It's a bubble constrictor. So now we're on level three of Bindi's treehouse. You can see some rhino off in the distance over there. I'm just watching the lemurs play down here. So we have finally successfully found an echidna today in Bindi's treehouse area. Hi, hey, Chase. He is there. He's all dug in. Staying warm. We have made it to Africa. And all the giraffes are coming out for a feeding. And there's a gold two zebra. Zebra. Zebros. That one in the back is definitely forest, the tallest giraffe. Yeah. He's he towers tall. over all these. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now we have some rhinos. <laughs> and some giraffes over there. <laughs> We are entering the cheetah grasslands. This is brand new. This only opened, what, like a week ago? Uh, I think uh, maybe a week or two ago. It's cool. It is really cool. Get to see the cheetahs. Here are the cheetahs. Pretty back here. So, we're in our room at the Crocodile Hunter Lodge and we got a little gift bag welcome. Like a welcome gift. Thanks. We're also trying to film on my camera, so you can tell us if the quality between the GoPro and the camera was any better. So first we have... What do we got? A flashlight. A torch, you mean. Let's see. We'll pull it in close here. Ooh. Come on, focus. Ah, well it says Crocodile Hunter Lodge. Okay. We have a pen. Gotta love a good pen. Bamboo Crocodile Hunter Lodge pen. What you got? No pen. To match the pen, of course. And we have a Crocodile Hunter Lodge postcard. Wow. And it has like copies of all their signatures on the back. We did a lot of walking and my tummy is hungry. We're going to dinner later. We have Crikey. The magazine. Issue 63. Mm, good call. And we have Crikey. Ooh. What issue is that one? Issue 61. Ah, so very we need 62. nice. <laughs> I feel like we. I feel like we definitely have 62 somewhere. And then, the piece de resistance. We have a print from Robert Irwin. Now, what is that? It's the Glass Mountains, which mm -hmm. is where we're staying. Well, kind of. They're off in the distance here. Yeah. Wow. They have a crikey that is that print on our wall. And I think we need it because it was hanging in our room. I think we do need it. We don't have that one. We saw it in the gift shop today. Yeah, speaking of which, let us do a little haul. Oh, there's more stuff in my backpack, too. Yeah, well, you can do this for right now, and then you can get your stuff out while I do the room tour. So, um, let's start with the smaller things. Okay. I got a sticker. There we go. I got it to focus, finally. 
Because I saw a baby koala poking out of a pouch today, and you go and you got to pet one. Saw how that felt. And you got to pet one. And I think it felt like a fluffy cloud. And this is the one she's got. Croc rule. Because he saw the croc show. Which I'm so excited to go back and see again. We saw Monty today. Mm -hmm. So then I got an elephant. Dressed up in khakis, like a zookeeper. And you might be asking why in the world did you get an elephant? Wow. I like the floppy ears. And I don't know. Their elephants are really cute. I like their elephants. He's got leather. I think they all had leather shoes. So he's here. And, and Chase has one too. It wasn't just me. I got a crocodile, of course. And so he also has a crocodile. That's dressed up in khaki. Because you couldn't not get them. Yep. Look at it. Well, we have here, but I have we did stuff buy more. Yeah, so which I'll yeah. Be back. All right, so real quick, we got our merch that we got today. The last little bit. So I got another Crikey magazine because we are like addicted to these things. They're so they're actually really good magazines. Like mm -hmm. I really do enjoy them. So this is issue sixty four. Yep. So I got issue sixty four because I like the little gecko on it. Because we have the like I don't know if it's that exact. It's probably not. You that also exact got a gecko. postcard. Oh yeah, I did get a postcard. It's in there somewhere. Or maybe it's in, maybe it's in this little stack of stuff I got going on here. It's right here. I see it. It's all right here. I got this with a little postcard. Saving the best thing. Okay. So and this is what Aaron got. I got a Crikey magazine too. Which is kind of the same art style as the little painting thing on our wall. This is their newest one though. This is an issue 66. Which is, oh, you gotta tell them about the turtle on the cover. This is the turtle that Steve actually discovered. So it's the Irwin's turtle is what, okay, yeah. I believe that's the actual I'll put like, the scientific name. name down at the bottom, because I don't remember off the top of my head right now. But yeah, so, yep. new one. And then I got a postcard of a puggle. Which is? Baby a kitten. Yes. But you gotta tell everybody, what if somebody doesn't know what a puggle is? So this is like from like the wildlife hospital. Yeah, which we are gonna go do a tour of. So Chase's is like Australia, the Australia Zoo. Zoo. This one's like the hospital. And then this and one's then like the this crocodile. one's the crocodile hunter lodge. So I think we did pretty good on that. And then guys, I got a magnet. And you're like, why is the magnet the best thing ever? Bug on it, that's why. And she's your favorite Irwin. For those of you that don't know, Stella Irwin the pug is Robert Irwin's pug. And she walks around the zoo from time to time with Robert and other people. And Aaron loves pugs. Forever and always. Forever and always. So, that was our merch from today. We will probably get maybe a few more little things tomorrow and then. Right now, I think I'm gonna take you guys on a room tour. So this is our room. Oh. We're in ca uh, Kang, are we in a kangaroo cabin? I think it is, it's a one bedroom. Yeah, we're in the one bedroom. Which is, I think, the kangaroo. Red kangaroo? Red kangaroo? Okay, I think it's red we're kangaroo. We're number 11. Yep. So this is our little living area. This is like, the door is behind me, but. So this is our little living area. We got two big windows. We've got a little table up here with a book about like, the Crocodile Hunter Lodge and the history and stuff. We're kind of put my shoes there. We have Steve Irwin on the TV as always because there's nothing else you can watch in a place so magical. This scent. Oh, yeah. It so it's pure glow. Austra oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh. Come on, focus. There it is. Okay. It's Australian bush, which like I wouldn't have thought smelled great. It's a reed diffuser and it's by Pure Glow. I seriously love it. It smells so good. So then, so, Robert Irwin's Australian is in here for yes. you to like look through and read. So it's not for you to take, but it's for the room to kind of like peek through when you're sitting in the room in the evenings or things like that. 
because it does get dark here early as you can hi in the mirror um it does get dark here early but so then here's a piece we have of a piece of art so this is one of the old stocksman stockman's stations on Merechen. I'm probably butchering that. The conservation property established by Steve and Terry Irwin and the photos by Rob. Here's our kitchen. Yep, got a kitchen. So we got our stuff kind of all over right now because um, we just got in. Countertop. Countertop, sinks, all super Thanks. nice. More artwork there's on this. There's a little stove top. Yep, there's a little stove top there. Right, right. Full size fridge. And coffee and yep. stuff that we'll get into in a second. So there's a bunch more photos by Robert. Another photo by Robert, photo by Robert. This one isn't by Robert. I'm assuming it's by this person down here. Uh, and then this one's one of the covers of their Crikey magazine that's by that artist there, which it's not focusing. There we go. So now back to our little kitchen tour. So, Over in this corner, we have some snacks that came in the room. Yep. So they gave us so a little coffee maker back there, but take my little lid off here. So, fresh coffee just steps away, which that's not focused, and made in house brownies. So we got four little niblets of brownie. We got the smell how, smell that coffee. That's magnificent. Uh huh. And maybe sugar. I'm assuming that's sugar. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's definitely sugar. Okay. For your coffee. For your coffee. So, got a little welcome gift, and it tells you how to like brew the coffee different ways. Brew the coffee different ways. You know that kind of stuff. Box of teas. Again, full size refrigerator, and inside it came milk, water. Um, some non-alcoholic cocktails. Then if you take a turn here, in here is the bathroom. So you've got the toilet there. You've got a rainfall shower head shower. Mirror sink, you got some drawers, really nice like. Don't come in here. There's definitely not a Dyson hair dryer in here. Yeah, a sewing kit. Wow, they really did think of everything. So you got some drawers here, all kinds of nice stuff in there, and then you have, what did you call this? An egg. The crocodile egg bathtub. <laughs> and there's a heat lamp in here. Literally, you switch a, a switch, and that's a heat lamp. It's and a sky. And a skylight. So, now we'll slide over to the bedroom. So, again, nice windows, your own AC unit, a little chair to put backpacks and stuff on. You get the book that Bindi Irwin wrote about creating a conservation legacy on this side of the bed. And on the other side of the bed, shameless plug, I just finished reading this book. It was the best book I've ever read, the My Steve book by Terry Irwin. It's got a nice little, like, what do you call it, like a bench area? Yeah. For, like, your luggage and things like that. And then you got a nice full mirror. Hello. Um, with robes and little slippers that say Crocodile Hunter Lodge. Then on this side you have a safe, as always, and a little umbrella that you can take around the zoo and all that, but you do have to return it to the room and everything like that. So that's the tour of the inside. It's a bit dark out to be running around outside to show you, and there are some lights, but we're just gonna kind of hang out here, and uh, I think we're gonna go get some drinks before dinner. Yeah, we have Warrior for dinner. Yep, we have Warrior for dinner tonight, which will be super we're exciting. We're eating a Warrior for every day for the next two days. Two days. So. Yep. So good. we're super excited for that. We'll probably take the camera tonight and take some pictures and stuff. Um, but yeah, so the next time you see us, we will be changed and ready for dinner.
All right, so I got the Murray. It was a whiskey drink. Aaron got the Bosco. Sorry, it's not focusing. Aaron got the Bosco and it came smoked. It's an espresso martini. How is it? How was your food? Two thumbs up. Mine was really good too. But we'll give you a full dining review when you get back to the cabin. So far, we're just gonna enjoy our drinks. Okay, so we just got done with the Warrior restaurant for dinner. What'd you think? It was so good. It was delicious. I had the chicken. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you're gonna have to excuse us. We're shaking because we're cold. It's like 53 and we're freezing. And we walked back from and we walked back, the yeah. restaurant to our cabin, which was, it's not a far It's on walk. the backside, basically, of like the loop. You know, it's less than a 10 minute walk for sure, but it was just, it was just cold. It's a little chilly. And dark. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you had the steak. That looked really good. I let you have a bite of yeah, it. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I had the chicken. I couldn't let Aaron have a bite because I had some peanuts on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was delicious. The drinks were all named after Crocs that Steve had captured and rescued. Um, so that was really good. Tonight I had the Murray. Mm -hmm. And you had the... I had the Bosco. Bosco, which was absolutely insane. Looked so cool. But fun fact, marshmallows are not the same in Australia as they are in the US. No, they are not. <laughs> So these are like, I don't know if they were cotton candy or like strawberry flavored. Took her by surprise. But it, it, they were like roasted and then with the smokiness, it was like a roasted smoky cotton candy strawberry thing. And it just wasn't a move. But like the drink itself was good. Those are just the little marshmallows on the side. Mine was good. Mine was fruity. It had whiskey, but it was more like a, it was, the whiskey was just normal, but the drink itself was like a fruity old fashioned. It was good. It was different. I definitely have never had a drink like that before. I've been wanting to have an espresso martini. This is the first one I had and I don't know of many that come smoked. True. And it came with like a dome and everything. So it was cool. It did taste smoky, especially at the beginning, not really towards the end, but we did sit there for a little bit. True. <laughs> so that was probably just like user error. <laughs> But it did say smoky in the beginning, which it was really nice. Like, I really liked it. Yeah. But, I mean, other than that, it was a great day. Tomorrow we have breakfast at Warrior. We We're have... doing all three meals at Warrior tomorrow. Yeah. And we have another day at the zoo. We're going to try to hang out at the... Well, not try. We are going to hang out at the pool at the Croc Hunter Lodge tomorrow. And, yeah. Aaron's probably going to do a photo with a koala, maybe. Potentially, Potentially uh, neither tomorrow or the next day, yeah. depending on our schedule and like the timing of the koalas themselves. Yep. So depending on that is depending on my koala <laughs> mixture. So yeah, but yeah, that was pretty much our day here at, well, our first day our here first day. at the Australia Zoo and the Croc Hunter Lodge. Um, just shout out Roosevelt's. I'm wearing the, uh, I believe it's called Down Under. I'll have Aaron put the name above our heads or like somewhere in the video here. The link um, will also be in the description. The link will also be in the description to the shirt. Um, I have just recently stumbled upon Roosevelt's and they are magnificent. They are like super nice, thin shirts, which is not fantastic for being cold. However, um, I got so many compliments tonight at dinner. There might, there might have been three or four people out of like a whole restaurant that wasn't even half full that stopped and asked me where I had gotten the shirt and stuff. So yeah, shout out to Roosevelt. So that's gonna do it for us here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content coming soon. Lots of Australia stuff coming, as well as following us on Instagram and TikTok at The Castle Couple for all kinds of different content that we've been making. So, so yeah, but we will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. See you around the kingdom. Bye. Bye.